Good morning all. A very strange alarm clock, which I got from Lidl. A radio controlled alarm clock. That means it receives time and date information from Cumbria, I think it is. Uh, with temperature and humidity display, all in the shape of a strange blue monster. Uh, three year warranty includes batteries. And I got this marked down to just three pounds. These were clearly not selling. Let's take a look at it. Here it is, and it's suitably weird. Um, reasonably large LCD with time day, uh, also temperature in Fahrenheit. That's no good. How do you change that to Celsius? There we are. Uh, you press the up button. Celsius and relative humidity in uh, percentage terms. And to help you see this display, there's a little light touch sensor on the top, which puts on a blue backlight uh, it also doubles as the snooze button for the alarm clock function. Well, um, it's got the date and time from the MSF uh, transmitter, which, as I say, is up in Cumbria. In fact, let's just have a quick look at the manual for this thing. Yes, the MSF radio signal is transmitted from a location near, now is that Anthorn or Anthorn? Could be either, County Cumbria. And interestingly, this manual is for the uh, Great British one, Ireland, Northern Ireland, but also Germany, uh, Austria and Switzerland. And if you go to the same page in the German section, I was assuming this would say uh, that the signal is the DSF, I think it's called DSF, from somewhere in Germany. But no, it says Das MSF Funk Signal wird aus der Nähe von uh, Anthorn. I think it must be Anthorn, it can't be Anthorn. Uh, Grafschaft Cumbria. So the German one presumably also uses the Cumbrian um, radio signal. Now these symbols here, that radio sort of dish thing flashes when it's trying to acquire the signal. If it flashes but there are no of, of these lines coming out of the dish, it's not receiving a signal. When you start seeing these lines, it is receiving a signal and you might have to take this to different rooms in the house in order to get it to receive the signal. And then eventually this all stabilizes and that means it's received the signal and it's synchronized to that time signal. This thing is a tiny little box that says DST. So I presume that's daylight saving time lights up when it's summertime. Oh, it's just turned 11 o'clock on Tuesday. Let's um, have a look inside here. Now, what are we expecting to find? Well, there is a touch sensor up here for the light. Um, there's also a temperature and humidity sensor in here somewhere. And of course, there's the uh, radio receiving antenna. So we're looking for all those things. In the back appear to be three screws. Let's take them out. Well, they're out, but that doesn't seem to have got this thing to come apart. I can slightly split that, but it, something's holding it together and I don't quite know what it is. So I think these two arms need to come off and there are some holes down there. I think brute force is needed. But brute force doesn't seem to be doing a lot. I'm trying to remove these arm sections and they're just not coming off. Hmm. And I've removed one of the plates from under the feet, but nothing in there. So <laughs> I continue using brute force. Right, one of the arms is off and I do see some slots and some clips. So let's try and get, but it does appear to have been glued on with a bit there. So uh, I'll try and get the other arm off. Although, oh yes, there's a screw in there. Okay, that's fine. And with the arms off and the two remaining screws taken out, yes, it comes apart. It splits that way. Oh, well, now there's the antenna. It looks like one of those uh, old ferrite cord uh, AM radio transmission antennas. Can't remember what the frequencies are for... Uh, time clock signals, but I think they're pretty low. There's the touch sensor. Oh, it's literally a piece of tin foil or copper colored foil with a wire running down to the board. There's a crystal uh, there, which is probably to set the clock frequency. Oh, there's another crystal there, actually. I wonder if that's related to the radio. Um, here's the temperature sensor, which is interesting. That's a discrete temperature sensor, thermistor. Here's the humidity sensor, which is just carbon tracks on a little board. No 
special um, purpose sensor for this to keep the cost down, I suppose. There's the little buzzer stroke speaker for the alarm clock function, battery compartment, and that's pretty much it. There's probably a blob chip on the back of this board. Should we take a look? And the board is out, and the LCD backlight has fallen away. Now here's the LCD. Let's peel that off the zebra strip. Oh, that's come off. Will that all realign? Possibly, possibly not. And there's our blob chip, but actually there are a couple of other chips, so we'll take a look at those. So U1 is the blob chip that has the larger of the crystals coming through from the other side of the board. There's a transistor there that's next to the wires going to the light, so that's probably the light driver switch. Uh, there's what looks like a regulator here. It is near the incoming power connections here. Uh, it does say 33 on it, so possibly it's a 3.3 volt regulator, but then the battery is only 3 volts, so I'm not quite sure what that's doing. There's a chip here, um, or oh, was it 14 pin? It's called a ZR6100. Can't find anything specifically on that, but it's clearly the MSF chip. There's a couple of legs there for the smaller of the two crystals next to that. Um, so that's presumably doing the time code um, stuff and receiving or yeah, receiving from the uh, and the ferrite core antenna here into that, and then that runs into the chip, and the chip uses that time code signaling. Little transistor down here by the switches. Not entirely sure what that's doing. Um, possibly connected with the LCD driver array there, but that's pretty much all that's in here. Time code, um, MSF decode stuff main CPU doing LCD and driving and time clock counting uh, all in real time with a real time crystal and possibly a regulator here or some sort of power related component here. That's all that's inside this monstrosity. Will it all go back together and function? Well, I'm about to find out. So quite surprised to see a separate thermistor and humidity sensor, but I guess that's the way to keep the price down rather than some integrated chip to just have two cheap off-the-shelf components and then some sort of calibration stuff in software. That's the only thing that really surprised me. Let's put the batteries back in, see if it works. Yep, looks like it does. Snooze buttons still work. Yep, the stuff on the display makes sense. Oh, can I change that? To Celsius. No, I don't think you can actually until it's either stopped trying to acquire a signal or actually acquired one. Doesn't seem that these buttons do anything. You can press and hold. I think down tells it. Don't bother with the radio thing. I'll set the clock manually. And there is a process. Oh, even that doesn't seem to work while it's trying to acquire. But there is a process to manually set this. Why you'd bother, I don't know. Best to just find somewhere in your house where it does get a radio signal and it sets the clock for you. Now, I don't know if this blue monster thing is a known character. If you know, please let me know. Or whether it's just some sort of arbitrary design monster, which nobody knows. And that probably explains why nobody bought this thing and why it was reduced and cheap. But it uh, lets us take a look inside and see the bits that we're expecting to see, doesn't it? I'll just go and put it somewhere where it can receive that radio signal. It does seem in the kitchen here it is receiving that radio signal. I'll leave it for a little bit until it synchronizes. And with it out here, it does seem to be getting a consistent radio receive signal. Because if I move my phone near to it, that would probably block the radio. But you can see the little bars coming out of the receiver antenna. So I think if I leave it here for a while, it will synchronize. And there we are, it's synchronized. 11.38 Tuesday, daylight saving. Those have stabilized. What can we see here? Uh, 26 degrees Celsius. What does down do? I don't think it does anything. Mode, you can get seconds instead of the day. That's the date, 27th of the 7th, 27th of July, and the alarm is off. 
And so that's what's inside the Blue Monster alarm clock, which you might be able to get for £3 from Lidl. Cheerio.